the new face of refinancing um, is better explained in plain English. Uh, in my eyes, refinancing, which has been a forced issue on many companies in the last three to four years, is now a matter of opportunity. And refinance now is very much more governed by the choice of the business. And I think there are three particular areas, it's just worth mentioning. Um, the first one is, as, as commented before, headroom. Lots of organisations understand very much the requirement for cash flow and cash management to a greater extent than they did five years ago. The last five years has really brought home the importance of cash flow to all, all sizes and manners of organisations. So headroom on cash flow is actually vital and we play a big part in that. Around the transactions market, which has been really quiet for the last two or three years, what we now find is there are a series of transactions that completed three, four years ago where there's deferred consideration that has to be paid. Some of these are multi-million pound sums and these are organisations that have done pretty well uh, in difficult times, have come through it and have now got a situation where that deferred consideration has to be paid. Well, if you come forward to asset-based lending, bring forward a range of assets, we can, with existing clients and also with new opportunities, provide that additional headroom again, which is linked to being able to pay the deferred consideration. And that's a successful business getting real freedom, getting freedom from that transaction that they did all those years ago. And I think the third example is probably private equity again, where private equity was clearly impressed with the fact that through a recession, certain asset-based lenders stayed firmly open for business. And this has made a big difference to the private equity houses, certainly the smaller and medium-sized private equity houses, where they have now got much greater appetite to deal with asset-based lending. What they want to do on a transaction is generate as much cash as they possibly can against the assets that are subject to that transaction to create cash flow back into that deal structure. And in that respect, we're working very directly and very positively with a series of private equity houses now. Many organisations over the last three, four years have had a really tough time. And it's been difficult. Organisations, businesses that have survived have had to battle in the main to get there. They've had to focus upon taking costs out. They've had to be absolutely sure about the generation of cash. It's increased their disciplines in those areas. There's been lots of destocking. I don't think it's been a particularly joyous time for a lot of organisations. And therefore, that has brought pressure. Some of that pressure has actually had refinancing tagged to it and it's not been a particularly great pressure for people because refinancing has been brought as a requirement to lots of organisations by their existing financiers who have asked them as their customer to refinance their businesses at times when there's been very few opportunities for them to f refinance in the way that they may have wanted to. And I think this is the fundamental difference. This is very much a proactive activity now where organisations that historically may have been thinking around refinancing as a forced issue, th this is the progressive side of refinance. This is organisations now going out either off their own back or because they've been advised to do so, seeking better facilities that actually match their business requirements. And those facilities once they start talking to third parties, can often seem dramatically more attractive than where they're currently placed.